members, John here again. Today I want to talk to you about pre-shot routine. This is a very, very overlooked portion of the game that I, that I would guess most of you spend zero to very little time working on. And I really feel like if you invested some time in your pre-shot routine and the consistency of it, you would see a more consistent game out on the golf course. You know, when, when, you, when you look at some of the great players of all time, whether it be, you know, Tiger Woods or Larry Bird in basketball, you know, Larry Bird gets to the free throw line, everything that he does is the same. It's a routine, it's a process that he's going through. He's not thinking necessarily mechanics once he's up into there. He's just thinking about going through his process and making the shot. Same thing with Tiger Woods. I believe one of the great strengths of Tiger Woods is he never varied from his, from his routine, no matter how big the situation got. You know, he stayed consistent, just played every shot like it was, you know, the, the, the shot on the first hole. You know, you could look at the opposite end of that of somebody who's an extremely talented player, who obviously has had a su successful career, but Sergio Garcia, who really struggled with the, with the regripping at one point in his career. Right? And this led to a lot of really wayward shots, struggled with consistency um, because he wasn't in a routine. When you can go back to that routine, when you're under pressure, you're going to see more success. When I was coaching the high school team, um, this was one area that we really focused on. Because we were playing two or three matches a week, practice time was limited, you know, we really focused a lot on alignment but also on pre-shot routine, being consistent. And when we looked down at the numbers, we could see that our team actually got better in the later holes, you know, seven, eight, nine, and other teams were getting worse. So sticking to that routine led them to be able to see success even under a little bit more pressure. So I, when I'm thinking and we're talking about pre-shot routine, I've got two very separate boxes that I'm in during my routine. Over here, this is my think box. You know, this is where I'm selecting a club. This is where I'm picking out my line. This is where I'm doing all the things I'm thinking about. Maybe I've got one particular thing I'm working on with my swing. That's where I'm thinking about that. Only here in the think box. So for me, I wanna make sure Number one, that we would get right behind the golf ball here. Let me just grab a golf ball. I see a lot of players even getting in their think box, but they're not getting in the right position. So we want to get right behind the golf ball here to make sure we can see our line. So I'm a pretty strictly right to left player. So I'm really focused on where I'm going to start this golf ball to get it finished um, where I want at the target. And then once we get into that line here, step over into where you're going to be standing. Now you're going to see a visual difference. You know, your eyes are going to adjust to that, to understanding that now golf is played from the side, right? So our eyes are not on the line of our target. So that's a visual thing that we have to figure out. Now, as we just get ready to step in, you can do a number of things here, but I, all I want you to do is stay in motion, you know, we see a lot of players that get over the, that ball and it looks like they turn into a statue, right? It's hard to create a good flowing motion from a really static position, right? So I want you to get into the, this position. For me, it's about three steps. I don't map it out perfectly, but I'm feeling about three steps. And that gets me to the position where my, my feet are, and the ball's right about in the middle of my feet. You know, from there, I'm gonna go ahead and Take my stance, get my grip on, and now I widen the stance based on the club. So for this club, I want it just a little bit off the logo on my, on my shirt here. And now I'm just gonna keep moving. For me, it's two waggles, and then I go. So that's the same routine for me every time, no matter the shot, no matter the situation, I'm keeping that club, I'm keeping my body in a little bit of movement, 
you know, we have to get this club swinging very quickly, right? It's very hard to do from a very static position. Or if you're coming in here one time you take six practice swings, the next time you don't take any, there's no consistency to the process. Really focus on the process, focus on a pre-shot routine. I guarantee if you do nothing else this year, this will save you strokes. Try that and I hope to see you all soon.